Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to run Gaming Services Repair Tool. So go to Xbox app, top left, click on Profile icon and then go to Support option. Click on Gaming Services Repair Tool and then click on Start Repairing. Click on Yes to Allow and let the repair complete. This process will take some time and once the repair is complete, now you can try to install the game and then check still not working you can run the gaming services repair tool from the website so let this complete first if you see this update now option you can click on update now and then you can check you can even run gaming services repair tool from the website you can go to Google search, you can type in gaming services repair tool and then go to Xbox support which says gaming services repair tool. This will take you to the Microsoft website. Scroll down here, you can see downloadable version. Scroll down here, you can see download the gaming services repair tool for PC and then run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Again, this process will take some time and once you see completed successfully over here, then you can check. Once this is done, you will see completed successfully. And once you see that, you can relaunch Xbox app and then try to install the game once again and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to log out and log in with same account on Xbox app and store. So open Microsoft Store at the top right here. You can see your profile icon. Click on it. Click on sign out. Click on sign in and select the right account which has the game or which has the game pass and enter your pin or password over here now go to xbox app again top left profile icon click on sign out and then click on sign in select the right account select the same account which you have selected in microsoft store which has the game or which has the game pass and once logged in try to install it and then check also make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically if this is off you can turn it on set time automatically again if this is off you can turn it on and then click on sync now sync now is important so once the sync is done if you receive any error you can click on sync now multiple times and then go to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then try to install the game and then check now still not working the next step is to go to microsoft store library or downloads and try to install it from there so you can go to microsoft store go to download option if you see the game over here you can try to install the game from here and then check you can even go to library if you see the game in library you can try to install the game from here in my case it is in download so try to install it if you're trying to install it from microsoft store in that case you can use xbox app to install the game now the next step is to run this powershell command this command is provided in the video description copy this command and then type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and make sure that you run powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here and then hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see errors like this in red color just ignore it let the process complete make sure this is complete and do not click anywhere on this screen because it might interrupt and so let it complete and once this is complete then you have to relaunch xbox app you have to open xbox app once again and then check now the next step is to delete microsoft store local cache folder now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder find packages open the packages folder scroll down and find microsoft windows store so over here you can see microsoft windows store some alphanumeric character open this folder here you can see local cache folder make a right click and then delete it relaunch xbox app and then check next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset 
in Windows search box and then click on WS reset run command and let the repair complete like this will reopen Microsoft Store and then you can check still not working the next step is to repair or reset Xbox app on store so type in Xbox app in Windows search box make or click on Xbox app then click on app settings now on this page scroll down click on terminate option first and then click on repair and once the repair is done now you can open Xbox app and then check still not working you can click on reset reset and once the reset is done you can open Xbox app once again and then try to install the game again Now still not working the next step is to update store now to update store you can go to Microsoft store go to download option and then click on check for update and then click on update all once everything is updated over here now you can open Xbox app and then check next step is to install Xbox identity provider now for this open this link the link is provided in the video description click on download open Microsoft store and if not install you will see install button or get option so you can install Xbox identity provider and then check if that does not work uninstall and reinstall gaming services to uninstall gaming services copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in PowerShell in Windows search box make a right click on Windows PowerShell and make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer once done copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key this will open store now click on get option or if you see the install option hit install and let the installation complete make sure gaming services is installed over here then only you can open Microsoft store and then check so let the installation complete over here and then you have to restart Xbox app or store and then try to install it so here you can see it's almost done and now you can go to you have to relaunch Xbox app if you see update now update it and then you can try to install it still not working start all these services now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services find IP helper in the list make a double click on IP helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find Xbox services scroll down at the very bottom you will see four Xbox services make a double click on each one one by one and then then set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again automatic apply click on start if highlighted click on ok again automatic apply click on start and then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running make a racket click on start if highlighted or click on restart again make a right click on the second gaming services then click on start if highlighted or click on restart and now find Microsoft Store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now you can try to install the game and then you can check now still not working uh, the next step is to update windows now for this you can go to windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on it and then go to advanced tab scroll down and over here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 use TLS 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked and then hit apply click on ok restart Xbox app and then check next step is to try installing the game to C drive or different drive so you can go to Xbox app click on your profile icon then go to settings go to install option now over here 
if the game is installing to C drive, if you have any other drive, you can select any other drive and then try to install the game to D drive or E drive. If the game is already installing to D drive or E drive or any external drive, select C drive and then try to install the game to C drive. Now, still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app in store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall over here. Click on uninstall. And once the uninstall is done, you can go to Microsoft Store, type in Xbox app over here, and then click on Xbox app. And then you can install Xbox app from here. Make sure that you log in with the account which has the game or which has the game pass. And you have to log in with same account on Xbox app and store. And then try to install Xbox app and then check. Now, if you face any problem installing Xbox app, from Microsoft Store, in that case, you can go to Microsoft website. And then you can go to, X once you go to the Microsoft website, you will see uh, download the app option. So you can click on download the app over here. And then you can run the exe file. Click on yes to allow or, and just, you can install it from here website and then you can try to install the game and then check. Now you can do the same thing with store. You can copy the first command. This command will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Run as administrator only. And then click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. It will be gone from here. It will uninstall store and it will be gone. Once gone, now you can copy the second command paste it and then hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows using Media Creation Tool. Now you can open this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on download now. And then run the CXE file. When you run the CXE file, click on accept over here. And then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on Next. Select ISO file over here and then click on Next. You can save it to desktop. Click on Save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. Once the download is complete, click on Finish over here. And let this close automatically. Then go to desktop. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Setup file. Run the Setup file. Click on Yes to allow. And then click on Next over here. And then click on Accept over here. And here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install. After the installation, log into the computer and then you can open Xbox app or Microsoft Store. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.